Louisiana Beer Reviews looks at Hot Box Coffee Porter from Oscar Blues. 6.5% alcohol. And that's about all I know but as far as it concerns this beer because um, you look on their website, nothing. Um, <clears throat> I can see that some photos that this was part of a different series with some taller cans, maybe like pint cans, different like flavored beers or something and then um but they don't list this on their um website right now and there's not too many ratings on beer advocate or rape beer and it's just one of them things i found it at stein's deli it's part of this old man winter bike rally and run on february 7 2016 in lyons colorado Made with coffee. It's a coffee porter. Put these notes out the way because they don't pertain. I didn't write any notes because it wasn't really anything about the beer. Um, how much did I pay for this thing at Stein's? Two ninety nine. Three dollars for this little can. It better be good. Better be good. Okay. Glasses off. Label out. Ting, 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 ting. I saw that they had some 10 fitty, 10 fighty at door next, but it finally sold out. They had a bunch of it and then it was gone. People were like, man, wish I could find that 10 fitty. I said, go to door next. Got a whole ton, a whole load of it. With no kind of fanfare either, like other places apparently it was a big thing. And then uh, I was at Specs in Texas, east of the Woodlands, at Specs on Interstate 45, east of the Woodlands, whatever that place is called. And uh, it's like a little town in north of Spring. It's just on the shelf, like, well, no, it's here. This thing was on the shelf, like, huh, buy it, don't buy it. Okay. <clears throat> This is the first video review for this beer in the world. I like porters. I like coffee. I like coffee porters. I like most of what I've had from Oscar Blues, except for Mama's Little Yellow Pills. Thick, creamy head. A very dark brown appearance. I was watching the Chick-fil-A Peach Bowl, and it's was kind of surprised that Houston handled Florida State, beating it by two touchdowns. I said, ooh. Houston usually kills Tulane in football, but um, every now and then we'll beat them, like two years ago. I was at that game um, in Houston. Okay, but getting off of that. Mm, smells like beer with coffee in it. <clears throat> I didn't like the Mama's Little Yellow Pills because it had like an aspirin undertaste and it like a gritty mouthfeel. So I said, I mean, I gave it a pretty good score, but really it wasn't that good. I was probably too generous towards it. This smells like really good coffee. Hot box roasters. Uh, must be coffee company. Yeah, hot box roasters, cold brew coffee, roadie. Okay. I never heard of hot box coffee. I've heard of Louisiana. RT coffee. No, that's the heater. Kind of chilly outside. Okay. Tastes like pretty strongly roasted coffee. Dark roasted barley malts, a little char, but like strong black coffee, which is wonderful. Not too sweet, like two out of five sugar cubes. Bitterness would be the same, two out of five. But overall flavor, it's just coffee. I don't know how coffee would factor into that sugar cube hop cones. 
Cyclops um, descriptor matrix. I don't think it would. All right, it's a different animal. The mouth feels light to medium. I mean, a lot of times these porters, their mouth feel is not too thick. Maybe more up toward the medium. Yeah, pretty dry finish. 6.5. Good. You would think this was 4.5, really. You wouldn't think it's too strong. The can, it's not the greatest design. Black and it's a kind of cobalt blue, black and white. Mm. And it's like it's taped onto the can. I see a seam here. Yeah, so it's like the can is labeled as plastic and it's like glued onto the can. Makes it look kind of cheap. So thumbs down for the can. And two thumbs up for the beer. If you don't like coffee, you will hate this, I'm pretty sure. But if you like rich, really good, high quality, dark roasted coffee, you're going to love this. Because this is the name of the game, like Abba would say, with this beer. A little creaminess in the mouthfeel. Good lacing, pretty thick lacing in some spots. Hey, this is a winner from a company that puts out a lot of winners. Now, is it really worth $2.99 a can? I don't believe that's the case. The 10 Fidey was $4.99. Might have been cheaper than that, now that I recall. But, hey, I tried it once. I like it. Tick it off. Move on. <laughs> A all the way. You could make an argument for A+. plus. Don't know how it would stand up without the coffee, but it's made with the coffee, so it's kind of a pointless thing to even mention. be like saying, how does the Budweiser Clamato Chilada hold up without the Clamato? Probably like Budweiser, since that's what it is. So, excuse that irrelevant point. Les et les bon temps roulés, a most excellent beer from a very good company in most cases and I'm going to end this review by saying hold on a second 1991 Don Heinrich's college football annual only bought this twice because I never saw it again Dodge Dakota popular truck for many years until the small trucks sort of faded Plymouth Caravan well you know Plymouth is out of business but they still make the Dodge Grand Caravan version in the Chrysler Tenant Country kind of set the standard for minivans since they invented it um, still going strong 91 good season for college football bad for LSU and Tulane since the LSU won five games and Tulane won a total of one whole game All right, there's Pittsburgh sporting their ugly straight Crayola yellow and blue uniforms. Thank goodness they went back to their regular gold. Sort of gold, yeah, goldish color. Uh, these are interesting magazines to read. You get to see all the teams. Back in the old days of the independent teams, which there are hardly any left. Uh, Let's see, real fast, real fast. Let's see what we got going on here. Okay, go out west. Oregon, back when they were no nothing. Now they're like, or they were the big the big cheese, and now they're going back to maybe nothing again. Cal, always kind of, mm -hmm. but hey, it's a team. If I lived in Berkeley, I wouldn't be a communist, but I'd be going to a lot of games. Okay, uh, and um, Southern California, et cetera, et cetera. And, <laughs> Y'all come on down to 